Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Jermaine again, and I'm back and this time I'm finally doing my review of uh, Stephen King's uh, The Night Shift novel. And this is like an anthology of like uh, short stories that Stephen King wrote back in like, uh, like the 70s or whatever I believe it was. Yeah, like from like the 70s. And that's when this was published too, I believe, when this original was published was in 1978. Actually, the year I was born, in fact. But yeah, uh, this right here, uh, it's like an anthology of like short stories, and it's like it's like a combination of like uh, twenty like different tales. And some of these stories also have like film adaptions, like you have uh, the Mangler, which had uh, Robert England, you know, Freddy Krueger, and then they have a uh, Graveyard Shift, with, which was like in the film adaptation, it was like a, a giant like mixture of a rat and a bat. And then there's also like uh, the other film adaptions too. They have like Lawnmower Man, Children of the Corn. You know, all those were turned into like film. And these were just short stories, but they were turned into uh, like film adaptions, like full like length movies. So yeah, and then you have other ones like uh, Trucks was a uh, maximum overdrive with like the vehicles or whatever. So they had like that one or whatever in here too. Then they have like there's just other ones too. And there's also like uh, two stories that were connected to uh, the uh, Salem's Lot novel. You know, like the, uh, this where right the vampire like tale or whatever. There's also like a story that was like, it takes place, I think, is there's like two short stories in the, the Night Shift novel. One of them I think was before this, and then one, one of them was after it. Because like the events of Salem's Lot, you could tell already had happened with one of the stories that was in it. Because one of the stories that was in the Night Shift novel that was like in the Salem's Lot universe was actually after the Salem's Lot tale had happened. So yeah, you know, it, it was saying, but yeah, I, and then again, I thought this was pretty cool. Now, if anything, what was kind of like odd about it is like, you know, like, like I always was saying about Stephen King novels or whatever, like there's too many like characters and some of them may even be, no, it just be too many, really too many characters in his, his novels. But at the same time, the, uh, this time it seemed like it was just I was saying, but that's that was the point of the novel the, of this novel. It's a collection of short stories. So basically, you know, what I'm saying it was just like so many short stories, and they all ended kind of you know quickly. What some of them weren't even long enough, you know, what I'm saying. But it was still kind of cool. It's nice to be able to like to finish a story kind of quick, then jump to another story. You know, what I'm saying it was kind of nice to be able to keep reading different like stories or whatever, basically, and not reading just one large novel. You know, what I'm saying. It was cool being able to have like a different a whole like a, a variety of stories in here to read or whatever. But there was there was some cool ones in here too. But I could tell the one of the ones I was most familiar with were the ones that have film adaptions. Cause like some of the stories here that do do have film adaptions, they really were uh they really were not long. Some of them were barely ten pages long, but they have like full length movies and stuff. So I was I was kind of like kind of you know saying like whoa you know what I'm saying they weren't really that long. They say, like, for example, some of them were really weren't too close to the film adaptions, like the uh, the Lawnmower Man story. Now that was very different from the actual film adaption that starred like Pierce Bronson and uh, Jeff Faye. That was kind of based like in sci sci-fi. It had like a virtual reality thing going on with it. But in the novel, it was basically revolved around a guy who had like a lawnmower. In this night shift novel, it was basically a guy who had like a lawnmower, and the guy hired him to cut his grass. Then it was like a it was kind of it was kind of gory where I wanted to explain something happened, but it wasn't like like inside like sci-fi like the movie was. It wasn't like that. It was, this is really like a true, straight up horror thing, horror tale. But if not, it was like pretty. Uh, you know, it was like pretty good. You know, I mean, I thought it was I thought it was okay, but you know. But like I say, yeah, this was a, this was a pretty decent book or whatever, and this was actually the last of Stephen King's re rebooted novels. That he that he did like that the anchor book did the anchor book company they have restarted his book so they have the carry Salem's Lot the Stand Night Shift and the Shining which I did that one just was released this past summer so now I'm just waiting on his like his next series of books like which I kind of think the next one if they go in order will be the Dead Zone and then I think like Cool Joe so I'm gonna just wait whenever they they announce the release dates for those and now maybe I'll do reviews for those but in the end. I may do a, 
I may go ahead and give reviews of the other uh, film adaptions like uh, Children of the Corn. Oh yeah, then they had the other telling here, which was the Cat Side movie. Remember that the Cat Side? I don't know if, if y'all heard it. I'm sure some of y'all have like, the Cat Side film. It's a story here called uh, The Ledge, which was taken from the uh, Ant Critters Incorporated, which was taken from uh, the Cat Side movie. I mean, the Cat Side film adaptation took, borrowed those stories and made them into the movie. Then there was also a troll in the film you know, at the end with the troll and the cat. Yeah, because Drew Barrymore was in the film too. She played the little girl. But uh, they, yeah, it's, uh, that, they have the cat side thing. I may go and review those. The Church on the Corn, I may review. I may uh, review uh, the lawnmower. Like the film, actually, a film of Dash. And I probably do all of them in one review. I just got to find the movies or whatever. But yeah, other than that, this was like a. Uh, like I said, this was like a. Uh, this is a pretty uh, like decent novel, you know. I mean, it was like it was, it was pretty okay. It was it was pretty cool, but at times I was kind of like confused again. Cause like I said they did a lot of the stories, but the Salem's Lot tales were kind of cool too. It was kind of nice to go back to the uh, the Salem's Lot tale with the vampires, cause they had like two like stories connected to that. One I think was like before Salem's Lot happened. Yeah, cause it was like in the eighteen hundreds or something I believe. But then the last story in here, it actually took place after the events of Salem's Lot. After what all the stuff happened with like the Ben Marston and all them characters, you know. But it was, this was uh, this was a decent book, and this is like the last of the, uh, until like the next series. I mean, the next uh, books are released or whatever. So, you know, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much saying I was doing this. This was an okay book. It was pretty decent. It's pretty good. And it was nice to be like I'm saying. It was like a nice change up from like a full, long, whole length novel. Say something like a, uh, like the stand. You know what I'm saying? How massive this was. It was like a nice change up from something like that. Being that it was just one, one like a book with a whole bunch of stories, like twenty tales in them. And so I say I can say so. Yeah, this is my review of Stephen King's Night Shift, which is a book of, of uh, it's a series of story twenty tales in this novel, like an anthology. And then uh, I will probably do the reviews of like some of the film adaptions of these novels too, of the uh, some of these the stories that they were adapted into film adaptions. I may do reviews of those, like Children on the Corn, or Mangler, Lawnmower Man, you know, Cat's Eye, you know, Maximum Overdrive. If I can find those like films, I'll probably do reviews of those, stuff like that, you know. But okay, yeah, this is my review of Stephen King's Night Shift, and it was a pretty uh, decent novel, pretty good. You know, so it was cool. So I would recommend you don't know, read it or whatever, but I'm out though. Thank y'all. See y'all later. Alright.